to the character pick too. Like I feel like I've seen his story from the beginning to the end. I'm sure they messed around with some other characters as well, but that story is definitely like that's a tried and true, you know? So here on the other side there we got that crossover for the Brin skin and then we got the Bolivar skin crossover as well as Taros. Because obviously you cannot have a Taros, bro. You can't not have a Taros. Yeah, I mean, at this point, in this day and age, in this meta. All right, but here we go, loading up into game one. This is gonna be a best of five. Starlight and Tiffany versus Pugsy and Isidru. Let's see who comes out on top. All right. All right. Swap's there coming out from Isidru. Not bad. Well, that was a <laughs> quick stock right there. <laughs> and that is the showcase that you don't have to leave the stage. Did you notice? Oh Did my you notice? Gosh. Like he's playing very close to stage directly off. Like none of that, I'm chasing you out of here using all my jumps. Like I'm just off. I'm on the stage getting these hard KOs. Uh oh. Oh no. See what happens when we off stage though? Look at that. <laughs> see? see? See what happens when we off stage? Damn. Bulls can't fly, bro. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you see wings on Taros right now? I don't. But that is a reindeer, though. Doesn't that mean you're supposed to get like some additional? That is a reindeer. Uh, potentially, I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> oh no. Okay, neutral air coming down from Tiff. Not gonna connect quite yet. Okay. Blue team is doing pretty well here. Red team also like keeping up. This is a very close game. Wow, the tail end of that neutral sig ended up hitting Starlight there. That's kind of unfortunate for Team Blue. But man, does Taros hit hard! Yes, he does. Oh, so just like that, man, a very solid lead here for the red team. That's the unfortunate part is that I think that as far as the damage goes, or not the damage goes, as far as the amount of hits that have happened, they're pretty even. Just unfortunately, uh, every tarot hit counts as like three, so. Uh, Ooh. And I'm pretty sure okay. every single KO at this point has been from Isidru on that Taros as well. So it's just like, man, you're just getting those optimal KOs. But there we go. Team Blue fighting back in the yellow. Still could go either way here. We're going to see how it pans out. I honestly have no idea which way it's going to go. I was going to say, man, great recovery, though, uh, right there from that Taros, but still got scooped up. Okay. Neutral Light's going to find his mark. Oh, no. All right, the double hammer versus the axe, and it's just Bryn, too. Bryn, not the strongest uh, hero. I mean, she's pretty middle ground, so not like she has a bad stat, but definitely not one of the stronger heroes uh, or legends in this game. So should oh, recover. be wow, an easy just... one? The heck? Okay. Oh. Wow. Okay. That hit? Yeah, I mean, where <gasps> I mean, was he going to go? Like, that, that ground pound was perfect. Man. Man, that's tough. All right. <laughs> Yeah, that was actually tough, right? Like, he like he couldn't dodge in because he was going to get hit down. He couldn't dodge straight up because he was going to be too far away from the wall. So he tried to dodge up forward and still got hit. Didn't even matter. So that first game definitely going uh, well into the red team side. That's going to be Pugsy and Isidru. Remember, and also got to give a big shout out to Pugsy because he's playing in two different tournaments right now and probably slapping in both of them. So, and said, you know, I got the skills. They, they transfer. All right, we're going to Crystal Temple right now. So this is a stage we don't see super a lot, especially in NA. You know, EU would go to it a bit. We saw quite a bit of it from uh, South America as well, but not really North America. But we're gonna see if this is the pick that they need. Tiffany's trying to hang in there with the Barbara. Starlight still with the Asuri. No swaps on Legends all across the board. And so far, it's a much better start for the blue team. This actually might be the pick. The stage might be it. Hold on. Okay. Nice punish. Oh, I hate that. Get out that. of there. Tiffany. Def tried to get the jump nair and got just like a standard neutral light. That happens sometimes. Oh, no. All right, my man's trying okay. to get back to the stage, but. Oh. Oh, that was so close. The neutral air might have been. Well, it doesn't even matter. The neutral air might have been the, uh, the play, though, because he was directly on top of him. And as neutral air hits with the uh, Katars, obviously, wherever you get hit is wherever you go. So he would have got that little uh, spike off that. Qatar neutral air, but didn't seem to matter. Still forced him way too far away from the uh, the stage. One thing that really matters right now is if they can get this stock off of Hugsy, so that way they can even this game up before taking too much damage from this Taros, who is definitely swinging. Ooh, mm. Nice catch. Oh my okay, gosh, triple. recovery, recovery, recovery. Okay. We take those, man. It's, it works. 
It did the damage, but Pugsy still has two stocks. Oh man, Pugsy's still alive after that Sare. You hate to see it if you're blue team right now. Oh my goodness, that was great though. Backstep into jump recovery to catch the dodge up. But Isidru coming out swinging, saying if you mess with the bull, you get the horns. Oh, mm. oh, hold on. Ooh. Oh, man, that, how are you supposed to be hammer neutral air on the way? <laughs> like, right? Like, he's like, man, I need to get one more hit. And then the hammer neutral air comes out, and you're like, well, there ain't no move I got that's going to outrange that one. So, yeah. Okay. Kind of smoothing past that. Good stuff. Okay, okay. Ooh. We get some nice little team combos here for the. Oh, a little late, or should have turned that around, actually. It wasn't even late. Just should have turned it around. I think you would have caught both of them, too because that second swing uh, would have jumped up and I most likely hit Pugsy if he tried to do anything. So either way though, the blue team, way better fight this time around, but I'm not sure if this is gonna be enough for them to get the win just yet. Although if they can get this Taros out the way, this could be big. Yeah, they need to get that hit. Taros recovering high, the down air to cover himself on the way down, very well executed. Isidru is damaged though, just need that one final blow before Isidru is able to do even more damage to the blue team like he is right now. Oh, Tiffany gets sent flying as well. They can't seem to find the KOing hit there. That uh, is looking bad. The stomp, the stomp stairs are coming out, bro. And that's one. And this is a doable 2v1, but it's gonna be a little bit difficult. The neutral air is enough. Yeah, that was much closer game two from Starlight and Tiffany. They are trying their best right now, but still were not able to come out on top in that game two. But I feel like the Crystal Temple pick wasn't bad. If they go back there, I think that could work out. But granted now, since they ended up losing that last game, they have to strike the stages first. But it looks like, uh, looks like we're going back. So that works for me, yeah. Um, I'm yeah, I think that. that like I, I definitely think that that stage uh, did quite well. They were definitely getting their their groove going too with their their combos. Just unfortunately, the groove started to happen just a little too late. So hopefully, they can get to the groove earlier into this game. Saw a lot of uh, you know three three way passes and things like that. Uh, and that's still you know a good amount of damage. I'm sure, you can get those combos a lot longer. But when you're when there's still a two v two going on and you're able to get a, a three pass, that's still nice. That's still nice. Yeah, oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, Starlight just kind of down airing in the wrong direction there. But Isidru is just doing an immaculate job of one, not only getting damage, but getting the KOs. Oh, this is, this is terrible for Tiffany here. And doof, right? That's that's Taros for you. And it's mm -hmm. gonna be a double. Ah. Is Isidru gonna pick this one up too? Okay, so this is a good trade. This is, this is a solid trade all around. One, one for yeah. both teams. Yeah. And and obviously uh, you see blue team's a little healthier. That Taros is gonna be out of there, sitting in that deep red for a little bit, so. Starlight, you know, he's able to kind of keep the stock going for him for a bit and add up some extra damage or taking a big hit from this Terrace or, or even this Bode Bar. Uh, could see something something great happening for the blue team this time around. Also got to be give it a big shout out to Starlight. The fact that he's playing on guitar is making it work. You know, guitar is uh, seemingly the worst weapon in the yeah, game nice. right now. And uh, he is he has opted to stick with him. Make him work. Especially in twos, like it's one thing to just be playing guitars, period. And then guitars in twos and making it work, well, that's a completely different story. But Starlight never really switches up, you know. It's always a story with, uh, like kindergarten, you know, got the scissors and the whatever the uh, the guitar skin. Oh, he, he don't take the scissors though. But yeah, he definitely takes the kindergarten uh, skin. She's just so <laughs> happy. Oh, he didn't take the scissors. What? Man. There we go. Recovery off the top. That's a KO on Xavier Woods. Starlight still has three stocks. Tiffany has two. Not bad at all. Sid Drew trying to get himself back down to the ground. Maybe get a shout here onto Tiffany. Maybe Tiffany not. I'm going to go ahead and fade that good stuff. Man, and that was that gravity cancel down sig from Issy Drew was something that needed to go a hard punish, right? Like that should have been like an end sig or a side sig or something, but dropping that punch is Stop definitely going to be costly for the blue team. Man, you can't just be letting people do that and get away with it. Like at least a oh, recovery or something. I don't know. Just, just hit him. Yeah. Big, but it's like something. I don't, I don't think just we hit even him. got like. You know, like hit him. Yeah, just hit him. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, though. We got a, I was going to say, almost a pretty even game, except for the fact that Starlight, again, holding on to this stock for dear life. One stock ahead of everybody. Not a crazy amount of damage just yet. Could lose to a, a Tarot Stick now. Definitely now. But I was like, could lose to a Tarot Stick at the right side, but 
Doesn't seem to matter. Finds that side air. Couldn't really get away from that. Gosh, wow, Tiffany, how did she get through that down sig? I do not know. But that entire moment where Starlight was coming back. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I don't. Is that worth? Do you get a weapon throw and a Pugsy here? No, we just reset back in the center, and I don't know if that was the play to go for. Because now it's come to that point where Taros can just start pressing buttons, and you might just lose your stock. Uh oh. One right, more he's going hit. super high for a very good recovery. Wait a minute. Need to get those Fighting final blows, wow, bro. Oh, no. No recovery on Tiffany. Tiffany's Round dead. Down. Right? No. She's able to get back. She's able to get jumps. Wait a minute. Oh, there it is. That's one. Oh, one more side. Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, my oh. God. He's there. He was there. He was there. He was there. He was there. <laughs> oh, my Lots God. Lots of weapons. Seemingly no reason. I think this is a, that was a terrible time to weapon swap. What? Okay. You the don't want the Taros to have a weapon. No, I get it. I get it. Stomp no. Sarah's going to KO I, you, though. I, 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 oh. Uh, God. I think he threw that game for throwing for no reason. He threw that game. Like, he. <laughs> it's you through that game, bro. Like, I don't know. Oh, man. Bro. I feel like part no, of me is like, like the man. Idea of the weapon is a good idea. I think the way that he went about getting the weapon was a throw. Like, he just, like, mm. threw it and then walked over slowly, like, yeah, I guess I could just go grab this for free. <laughs> nah, man. Not at all. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It is what it Man. is. They hanging right, well, on by a thread, though. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to game four. They actually went back to Crystal Temple, which I didn't think. I thought they were going to go to a different stage. I felt like Team Red pretty much had it unlocked on the other stages. I don't know why they allowed them to come back here, but here we are. And so far, Team Red has a pretty good start damage-wise. Starlight, though. Starlight just kind of pops off, like... In little burst, right? It's like, oh, all right, Starlight's kind of jumping around, and then suddenly it'll be like four or five hits in a row, and then Starlight does nothing for a little bit, and then four or five hits in a row. So you never really know what the like flow of battle is going to be, because Starlight just kind of seemingly comes in and out in waves. Oh wow! Oh, Taros, baby. oh wow! Look how far far he was too, man. He was on the right side of the stage oh. near the platform. Still got that. Almost got the pancake surprise right there too. IHOP coming in, uh, coming in full effect. Oh man, I almost hit him with the Archer Beam. <laughs> you already know what I'm saying? Oh. oh. I got you with the Grand Slam right here. Anyway. That's crazy. Sure yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You got it. Hold on. Oh. Okay. Oh, man, this is close. I feel like it's one of the most closest matches we've had all day, man. They, they are right, really who's, scrapping uh, the fact right that now. <laughs> I mean, the fact that you were scrapping this Taros at Deep Red is, that's so bold to me. Uh -oh. oh man, oh the team combo. Nice recovery from Starlight there actually. It kind of gets Tiffany out the way for the ball. Man. Oh, 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 that's gonna KO Taros and Tiffany is on their last stock. That is not gonna be where you wanna be. Especially when you're potentially at, you know, your final game. You lose this, you're out the tournament. So Tiffany and Starlight, they have to clean it up here. Starlight's been doing a pretty good job of staying alive, but so has Pugsy. And oh, I feel like that could have been a stronger punish. Like that could have been a side tick instead of just a side air. And I feel like that's the difference between Pugsy being alive right now or dead. But it looks like they're able to find it a little bit later. Nice. Oh. Yeah, he went a little too uh, overzealous with that one. Going to take an easy punish and off the stage so he gets a nice bounce right into uh, that blast on Tiffany looking real good right now in this uh, third game, fourth game, fourth game. However, as, as I say, Tiffany is looking good. She is on her last stock, so this could be an issue here as we are in the last. Oh, oh, goodbye. There it goes. Carol finds that one right through the side, and now it is a 2v1 with relatively healthy red teams and uh, a relatively weaker forced character in Asuri, so. Wow. Okay. Hold on, Starlight. Hold okay, on. Oh, oh, no, he... Can't get a weapon yet, though. That's like the key is to defeat Isidru, right? If you're able to knock out Isidru, then you can, oh no. Wait. You have to recovery, and then, yep, that's it, yeah. 
That, yeah. that was just well played by Pugsy to do there. The moment that he had to dodge that attack, Isidru knew that the recovery was coming and all he had to do was line up the ground pound. So good stuff. That's going to be Pugsy and Isidru moving on further in the top eight bracket. And go ahead and take a look at a few of the replays here. But uh, good stuff. Yeah, no, they were able to hold it down. I, I feel like Isidru especially was just finding KOs. Like yeah. left and right. Left and right. Early ones. Yeah, I, gotta, I mean, tail end. The, yeah, what's I feel like what really, uh, what was really un uh, unfortunate was how much Tiffany was like losing these stocks very early. And I, and I think that's just the their team style. Obviously, it looked like Tiffany was in the front quite a bit. But if you look at the damage uh, calcs here at the very end, too, Tiffany had 265 damage uh, done, but 541 taken. And then on the other side, we had 448 from Starlight and 548 taken. So, uh, you know, with Tiffany being.